What's going on guys? Frank Rich, creator of Mastetic Muscle, coming at you today from the Critical Bench Compound in Tampa Bay, Florida. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the greatest of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, we all know Arnold from his movie career, from his blockbuster hits, uh, and then moving on being the governor of California. But what Arnold, for a lot of us, is really known for is being recognized as the symbol of the golden era of bodybuilding. Um, if you've paid attention over the last decade, maybe 20 years, in the sport of professional bodybuilding, we know that the physiques have gotten... Um, going to say out of hand. They're chemically enhanced. They've gotten to the point where it's just overly monstrous. It's, it's become a mass game. The physiques don't even look human like before. And if we really think about what Arnold symbolized in, um, in building his body is he always viewed everything he did as being an artist, as being a sculptor, um, quoting some of his you know, lines from the movie Pumping Iron, I'm sure we've all seen, is he truly viewed himself as a piece of art. Um, so, you know, when we think about probably the greatest developed bodybuilder, greatest developed physique of all, all, all time, I know in my mind, Arnold Schwarzenegger is what comes to mind. Um, he, for a taller guy, I'm, I'm 6'3", really showed that it was, you know, potential to, to build a complete, you know, muscular, but still aesthetic physique at the same time. Um, now, one thing a lot of people don't really think about when they, you know, talk about Arnold's training career is the foundation that he built for himself. You know, obviously he was a teen competitive bodybuilder, you know, in his 16, 17, and 18 years old. But prior to that, he spent a lot of time in the gym, essentially laying the groundwork, building the foundation for the physique that he would remain to have and still has to this day. So he was focused on putting the muscle on for spending some time in the you know in the trenches, really focusing on strength, power building type of type of movements. Um, he was known for some pretty impressive lifts, lifts in his younger days. Um, and then once he felt that he had a foundation, um, you know, set of muscle, he then pursued um, you know getting on stage and and further enhancing and sculpting his physique. Um, when we think about some of what Arnold is truly known for, um, probably having one of the greatest chest of all time his you know his iconic or symbolized pose is the side chest so in order for you to be able to hit that uh, pose properly you have to have a well-developed inner and upper chest um, and then a great set of biceps so those were two muscles that he spent a lot of time in, in focusing on obviously we know that arnold was a big proponent of doing standing barbell curls of doing the concentration bent over curl. Um, he did focus on doing progressive overload and moving a lot of weight. But once again, he was ahead of his time in what he talked about. He talked about truly envisioning the blood filling up with muscles, experiencing that pump. A lot of times now what we refer this to is the mind to muscle connection. Um, and even going further into the science, it's truly a neuromuscular activation response. So like I said, he was well ahead of his time in some of the things that he talked about back in the 70s as far as what he was experiencing in the gym. It just wasn't an external focus on thinking about moving the weight. He was internally connected through his mind to his body, really thinking about what was taking place within those muscles. Um, so yeah, we've talked about his biceps. We knew that he was obviously, like I said, a big proponent of doing barbell curls, of doing isolation work with dumbbells, concentration curls. He knew that in order to build his physique, he had to do specific specific isolated movements. First chest, we've seen the videos, we've seen the clips, we've seen the footage of the cable fly work, of the lying um, dumbbell flies that, that he enjoyed doing, and just the cross striations in his chest, really focusing on that peak, peak contraction. Um, you know, yes, we know early on he did heavy compounding movements to focus on the mass building, but to truly build a physique like Arnold's or like your greatest potential that, that you have, you have to be able to do this isolation type of work. Um, obviously, Arnold had a fantastic back as well. Um, a lot of bent over row work, whether that's with a T-bar, barbell. Um, and Arnold wasn't, he wasn't afraid to use cables. Um, we know to fully develop your physique, you have to be able to implement and integrate various levels of loads, various types of resistances. Um, so he didn't strictly do barbell or free weight work. Um, he, in he incorporated 
cable training. He incorporated machines that they had back in the day. Arnold knew what was going to work, and he doubled down on it, and he, he made it work. Um, yes, he has, you know, admitted to using, um, to using drugs, to using steroids, but he did it in an intelligent way. Um, you know, not like a lot of guys today that are running these massive cycles of, of gear, 24-7, 365. Arnold knew to get to the level of physique that he wanted to have, he was going to have to use something to push it, but he did it as he approached closer to his show. Also, at the same time, as he was committed to building his body and building his physique, he knew the long-term vision of what he was going to accomplish. Um, it was much more than just the physique. It was what that physique was going to symbolize to the world about his commitment and about his work ethic, and then the doors and opportunities that it was going to open up for him. So while I do love the gym, I love building my body and everything that it's allowed me to do, just like Arnold, I think that it needs to be an entryway into doing much bigger and greater things. Um, obviously, I haven't accomplished anywhere near as much as Arnold Schwarzenegger has, but knowing that your body can be an entryway to doing anything you want in this world is truly inspiring, and that's what I get the most when you know, I hear or think about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so like I said, guys, the greatest of all time truly you know, was the epitome of a lean, aesthetic, muscular physique, a aesthetic physique. Um, nobody else has symbolized it like Arnold. So the golden age of bodybuilding, um, it may or may not ever return. I know that they're trying to bring the classic physique back into the competitive world. And I hope that with this evolution of this group, that maybe we can start to see some more physiques like Arnold. There will never be another one like him. Nobody will accomplish the things that he did. But knowing that we can use our bodies to further grow our minds and truly live any life that we want to have is truly inspiring. Drop us a comment. What's your favorite Arnold line? What, uh, what sticks out to you when you think about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, we got a free report we want to give you guys. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, living a legacy of strength. If you want to get this report, all you got to do is hit the description box right there, the first link, www.criticalbench.com forward slash Arnold. Enter your email address, and we're going to send this report over to you guys right away. Also, to make it even easier, just hit this box right here. Follow the same process. Enter in your email address. The report is going to be yours. Make sure to watch this video. We got some more tips on how you guys can build lean muscular aesthetic physique. So watch these videos right here. Also, if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn that notification tab on. So every time a new video comes out, you're notified of it. Like I said, guys, really appreciate you tuning in. Live your life, build your body. We'll talk to you soon.